it was last uh, session uh, you got a question about nirvana buddhism and uh, i got confused when i uh, hear the answer you said that uh, nirvana and the fifth dimension is the same and in my opinion there is a difference in the fifth uh, dimension you still still li live your life experience the rebirthing but in nirvana it's the in internal dying you don't have to live and you don't rebirth am i wrong now no i mean both of them are correct and both of them are wrong <laughs> 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 oh confusing <laughs> no they're both food for mind this is just a mind wants some food i see yeah it's another way of the mind wanting to keep itself occupied with words nirvana fifth dimension da -da 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 da yes they're not the same, or they're the same, or this is the difference. It's the mind is playing tricks. Yeah, I see. Because it doesn't matter. No. Whatever they are, it's meaningless. Yes. Yeah. But thank you for bringing it. It's great because that's everyone, everybody else's questions. Mm. The mind will do anything to pull you out of silence. So we'll come up with all kinds of questions. When we sit together in silence and we don't have an agenda, we're not trying to, we're simply, we're not even trying to get enlightened. We're here together in silence without any agendas, okay? And what happens is that you tap into one heart and a force field is being created, an energy field gets created. Because you're raising your vibrations to a higher frequency through being quiet, being in your heart. And we tap into the unified field of oneness. And in that unified field of tapping into it, the yani appears. The yani. You need to Google that the yani is the master, the guru. It appears in the middle. And when the yani appears in the middle, so you're all a part of the unified field. You have come into the oneness. You're quiet, you're Zen, you're here, and you have no agenda. You're not trying to do anything. You're not trying to get anywhere. You're just exercising your natural state of being, which is being silent.
and the master appears in the middle. The yani, the sat guru. And the sat guru starts to eat your karma. He will start eating your karma or she and starts to clear your karma and accelerate your spiritual awakening. It opens the pathway and socks you in to self-realization. That's where the transmission of wisdom takes place. That's why it's so groovy. That's why we dig it. We love it. When we come together and we connect in our hearts, we've seen it happen many, many different times. So many retreats we've had together, so many workshops we had together in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Germany, Poland, here in the US, Sedona, so many times we came together or here online at the Academy or this Global Self-Awakening workshop and a connection happens and a deep silence takes over and you begin to feel the transmission of love and bliss. It's beyond time space, the power of it. It exists beyond time space. It doesn't matter we're together physically or not, our hearts become one. We meet in the unified field of love. We become pure because it's one intention. And in these moments, wisdom gets transmitted. And we begin to get a glimpse of the truth of who we are. There is nothing in this world that can harm you. There is nothing in this world that can touch you. There is nothing in this world that you would fear from. Nothing. 